earlier this year I had a few headaches and then um, yeah, I was diagnosed with a stage four brain tumor. And then ever since then, we've been trying to raise money for alternative treatments, which um, we've been doing incredibly well with. And we started a campaign from March to the Arch, and um, where we're walking from here, Exeter Training Ground, to Wembley Stadium. So yeah, we should land there on next Tuesday after about 27 miles a day. Brilliant. So, and um, joined by friends and families. Lots of friends, today. lots of family come from all over the country, some from other countries. It's been incredible, the turnout. So yeah, we're delighted with, with everything at the moment. And just looking back to March as well, I guess it's something you can never prepare for in life as well. So I guess it's been, you know, it's with six months down the line, I guess it's been quite a journey for you. It has, but it's, it all happened so quick from seeing the GP to the brain surgery, it was nine day turnaround. So the, the NHS were incredible with that. It was amazing and just taking each step at a time with treatment and then just getting fitness back really. And hopefully you'll see some of it on the walk. Mention a little bit about the diagnosis. Can you just explain, explain a little bit more about this? It's quite a rare condition, I believe, isn't it? Well, in, well I learned under, it's the biggest killer for under 40s, which is quite scary because the funding is under 1% of cancer research and it's the biggest killer for people under 40 and yeah it's, it's quite scary which I didn't realise at the time but um yeah I just started getting light headaches in the back and it just lasted about three seconds and then yeah January time it became a bit more frequent and then just went to the GP and then she yeah did the tests and scanned the next day but it's been yeah it's been a roller coaster shall we say but it's, yeah it's been bearable but it's all been thanks to the, I haven't done anything. It's been the treatment from the NHS. Every single step of the way, they've been incredible. And they made this unbearable situation bearable. Um, and the treatment that you're raising money for sounds uh, like pretty incredible. To me, doing, having a little bit of a read about it, can you just explain how it works? Yes, well, it's sort of a double-edged sword because we need the tumour to come back and we need it to grow, which is obviously counteractive to what the NHS would want. So we need the tumour to grow back and then they take it out and then they work their magic and then they inject it into me and then it goes and fights itself because at the moment when the tumour does grow my body doesn't know it's there. So when they inject it back it sort of, yeah, it knows where it is and it just goes and combats itself. The main aim is just to keep backing this away because it will keep coming back but the main aim is just to keep backing away for as long as we can. It's a very specialist treatment as well, which is why it costs so much money, I guess. Yes, and it's, it's just one phase away from being approved on the NHS. It's, it's gone through four or five different processes now, and it just needs to be, it could be years though for that to happen. So yeah, this is the only option at the moment. So, so, so far you've raised an incredible, over £125,000 from a lot of it from people who don't, who don't even know you, but have been really inspired by your story. Yes, it's been remarkable. And even the messages I've had as well from, especially on Twitter from young lads who've had um, we're not diagnosed, but they've got symptoms as such, and they've just been asking. What, and I just say, just go to the go and get checked out. If you've got anything like that you're worried about, get it checked out because there's nothing bad that can come out of it. If they find something, it's good because they found it. If they don't, excellent. But yeah, we've it's been incredible turnout from everyone in Exeter, all around England and Ireland as well. It's been amazing, and yeah. Um, and exit to Wembley Stadium is, you know, not a short journey. Um, it's not. You said to me earlier that you've not really walked that far, so it's going to be an even bigger challenge for you. It will. I mean, I was never a prime athlete, shall we say. Well, I played a bit of football in the days, but um, yeah, walking-wise, yeah, it'll be a challenge. But I'm planning on doing as much, if not all of it, as long as I can. So. Yeah. And you've got some incredible people here to support you as well on that journey? Yes, we've got my best friends, my wife, I think over there, and um, she's, uh, been, she's been the rock throughout this whole process. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it, which I didn't expect to be, but uh, I actually am, as long as the rain holds off. And... Exactly, hopefully the weather stays kind for you. Well, um, yeah. all the best from everyone at Exeter City Football Club as well, and just keep us updated on how you're getting along. Perfect, thank you so much. Hi, sorry.